Today we're going to go over how to use the V-Line 2 in a 2007 Honda Accord. Uh, as you can see here, we're on the V-Line home screen. This has all of your media apps kind of loaded here. We've got uh, local music for like USB storage, Bluetooth uh, for Bluetooth audio, uh, web radio here will be for internet radio stations. Then we've got CarPlay and Android Auto. Um, on our second page here, we have users, so you can add another user if you'd like, uh, or multiple. And then we have the support app here. This kind of has quick links to everything. So there's a quick link to Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and then VLAN updates. Uh, this in here will be the main settings. And in here, this is all of the Android settings themselves for the operating system. Uh, you can also go in here to update or even change the time. And then here, we'll go back to the home screen. And we have more settings up here. Now these are gonna be the V-Line kind of UI specific ones and V-Line specific. So we have display here, our screen. We can do the display offset if the display needs to be moved left or right or up and down. Uh, we have the touchscreen calibration and then brightness here. And then there's also a few other ones in here. Um, we've got microphone gain. And then in here we have some that change the units for miles per hour and Fahrenheit, as well as left and right hand drive. And the great plus signs here, you can click on those and you've got all your plugins here that we have loaded. And then we have apps. So these are ones that are Android specific here, like files, settings, um, and then any apps that you download from the Google Play Store will show up in here as well. We've got shortcuts, which are just to kind of navigate the UI a little more quickly. Uh, we also have the close apps to close all your apps that are open. And then the factory UI here will bring you back to the factory audio screen. And that's how you navigate the VLAN.